Microgreens are the fastest food source that you can grow on your farm or in your garden or even in your kitchen. You can go from seed to harvest in less than a week. Microgreens can be grown indoors or outdoors, and if you can keep a constant temperature, they can be grown year round. And a number of plant varieties work really well for microgreens. Here we have radish microgreens, and they work really well for omelets, for sandwiches, for tacos, or even some special dish that you can come up with. They really just add extra flavor and they're really nutritious too. And if you haven't seen any, any of our previous videos on microgreens, make sure you check them out. And what do you do when you've grown so many microgreens and you don't know what to do with them and you can't use them right away? Well, in this video, Lacey's gonna share with you what you can do with your excess microgreens to preserve them and use them later. Mike brought in these microgreens for me and I'm going to show you maybe a little different way to use them that you may not expect. Mike is going to sit here and help me cut them and I'm going to show you what to do. I just finished cutting that whole tray of microgreens so I have them right here in this bowl and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them on my dehydrator trays and we're gonna dehydrate them. So Micah helped me cut the microgreens and I got them put in our dehydrator and now all we have to do is find a place to plug this up and we'll be on our way. Now what are you going to do? Turn it on. Do you dehydrate the microgreens? It's been three hours since I put the microgreens in the dehydrator and they are done. So I want to show you what that looks like. So here they are. They are all crumbly and dried. Now I'm just going to take them um, out of the trays and I'm going to put them into a glass mason jar so that I can preserve them. It started to rain in this process, so that's what you hear in the background, along with maybe some kids too. But I want to show you how much they reduce down in size. So remember the bowl that I actually cut them into? Well, here it is, and I'm going to put all the dried microgreens in this bowl just to let you see how much they reduce down. They've reduced down probably to at least a third, if not a quarter of uh, the amount that they were before. Now I'm gonna take my dried microgreens and I'm gonna put them in a jar uh, with a lid just to, to keep them dry. And we, you wanna make sure whenever you have something that you've dehydrated, you wanna make sure that you are keeping it dry because that's how it preserves it. Well, it was getting a little loud inside. So I came out here to the grow room and I brought my microgreens with me. And right now you may still be asking, why should I dehydrate microgreens? And just like 
any other produce, you know, it has a short shelf life. So if you can't get to eating all the microgreens that you're growing and eat them fresh, dehydrating them is a really good option. And you may be wondering, what are some uses for those? Well, one thing that I found is they make a great garnish on top of soups, uh, radish microgreens, which these are, are really spicy, uh, just like radishes. So, but it's a tiny little plant that packs a really good punch of flavor. So they're really good on soups. Another really neat way that I use them is as spices. So uh, I make my own salad dressings. So I've used it in salad dressings just to give it a nice kick instead of maybe using black pepper or use both. It just adds another dimension of flavor. So use the microgreens just as you would use any other spice with a little bit of a punch. And uh, I would be interested to know like how other people use them. So this is what I do. But you know, how do you use your microgreens? How do you use your fresh microgreens? How do you use your dried microgreens? So let me know in the comments below because I really like to get other ideas from, from other people. Some ways I really like using fresh microgreens are on tacos, on omelets, on salads, pretty much anything that you can think of we put microgreens on and especially Mike he'll take microgreens and just load them up on his plate so he wants to make sure he's getting all that good nutrition and you don't need a lot of microgreens you don't need like a whole bowl full to get a lot of good nutrition and if you haven't grown your own microgreens we want to encourage you to try it it really doesn't take much to do it you can do it in a small tray you just need some seeds even one pack of radish seeds you could just try that to see if you like them. Or kale or broccoli. There's just so many different things you can do. But I want to show you like how radish seeds start and then how quickly they progress. So these microgreens right here. All of these. Started as seeds just like these on Friday. Now today is Wednesday. So from Friday to Wednesday, they have grown this much. And they're about a day, maybe a day and a half out from being cut. Now how amazing is that? That you can grow something in a week's time and some of them are going to be a little longer, but radishes are, are right at seven days. How awesome is that? That you can start seeds on a Friday and then be harvesting the next Thursday. I just find that it's just, it's just really cool that you can grow nutritious food in a short amount of time. And especially in the winter time, whenever you know, greens um, may not be available to you everywhere, that you can grow microgreens in your house and add those to your rice, your potatoes, your anything you want to just to bring up more nutrition and have more chlorophyll in your diet because your body really needs chlorophyll that's how it uses chlorophyll to repair cell damage so any chlorophyll that you can get is a boost well that's just a few ways that we use microgreens and like i said before we really hope that you try them out and that's all I have for now. I do want to say that I'm working on the videos of herbs, so stay tuned if you want to know more about herbs and their uses. And actually, I have a bit of a scratchy throat, so I'm turning to herbs to help me with that. So I made me some moly and tea. We'll learn more about that in the future. So stay tuned and grow on. Bye!